sweethearts. Some awesome stuff is happening lately, so I thought I'd give you an update on what I'm up to. This month I'm exhibiting some of my artworks at a conference at Darling Harbour Exhibition Centre. The work I'm exhibiting is called Rhizome, R-H-I-Z-O-M-E, and is essentially a positive affirmation in artwork form. Rhizome is a really interesting concept, and there's a wonderful quote by Deleuze and Guattari that says, the surface can be interrupted and moved, but these disturbances leave no trace, as the water is charged with pressure and potential to always seek its equilibrium and thereby establish smooth space. That is what I wish for my life, to always have the potential to establish smooth space again. There are some other key concepts in the rhizome too. The word derives from a Greek word meaning to take root, but rhizomes don't follow that traditional plant-like structure, with roots at the bottom leading up a single trunk to branches sprouting at the tip. Rhizomes are like ginger roots, which can start or end anywhere. When it's broken at one point, it simply forms a new connection somewhere else. That is also what I wish for my life, for my broken parts to sprout elsewhere. If I can't heal something that has been taken away from me, I can form a new connection, a new sprout, and live an alternative life for that broken piece. Anyway, I won't go into all the meanings or I'll just have to read my artist statement. But if the concept appeals to you, definitely give Rhizome a Google and do some reading. It's fascinating. I've also got some really exciting new artworks planned as part of my Planets of Pain series. This series is about people with lived experience of mental health issues. And I'm working to make my paintings and photographs in the series a bit more sculptural as well. It might seem a bit crazy to use so many different media types in the one project, painting, photography, video, sculpture, but I think exploring so many different things is what keeps me excited. It gives me a much needed serotonin boost when I learn a new thing or use something in a new way. It makes it hard to enter art competitions or apply for grants, as my work never seems to be just one thing. I'm resigned to being a jack of all trades and a master of none. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to watch more, click on the video to the right. If you'd like to help me make more videos, click on the left to donate a dollar to my Patreon account. And click on the circle in the middle to subscribe. Bye sweethearts!